welcome to this Ecamm live test. So Ecamm is something that I've started to use on my Mac. I've been using Windows and vMix for, for quite some time. And also I've set up here at home with uh, the studio setup. So if you're watching some of the videos earlier and in the last couple of days, you would have seen me show you my home setup with the pull up green screen still looking at working on uh, the echo and stuff like that so with the pull up green screen behind me here you switch that on you've got uh, whatever image you want to use in the background so we can turn that off and we uh, can also turn off the green screen or turn off the image and it'll show you the green screen and then we can turn on the office as well so Ecamm really really powerful They've got a number of um, different options. Niall can't see me, I'm not sure why. I can see me coming up on the stream there, Niall. Uh, can you refresh perhaps? But, um, oh now, okay, thank you, Niall. So, um, yeah, so kind of a casual Friday evening live stream out onto LinkedIn, showing you Ecamm and what's possible with it. So it's, it's really, really good. Um, uh, vmix uh, is windows only ecamm is mac only obs you can use across windows and mac a couple of things i like about ecamm those countdown timers and stuff that you've seen there during the break <laughs> and the music fades out nicely um, there's a bit more work in setting that up in vmix but it's possible in it as well uh, you can bring in your, uh, your text anytime you want move it around uh, that can be your name you know and you can do a nice job on your name coming in and you can time when it comes in and you can put a nice background on it and choose your background color and all that kind of good stuff and it can be set to come in automatically and disappear um, like nice fade in and fade out if you click on the pencil again you see in this live I will be doing videos on how it's possible um, in you know behind the scenes so to speak so you can put a nice border on it there hit save and you know it's changed live as well so if you double click on it uh, you can change the border color to uh, white for example and that does a nice job on it let's go for white and we hit save ah change didn't save so let me do that again uh, let's go for white and save and there you go and you probably wouldn't make the border that wide so it's easy enough to change that as well you just change the uh, margin the corners uh, the border make it a little bit more subtle and stuff like that okay so you can put it anywhere you want you can bring in logos but the great thing about ecamm is uh, they're trialing a beta version 4 where you can stream up to 10 different platforms at the same time if your broadband is able to manage that um, but it will tell you as you add live platforms to the stream it will tell you um, how much broadband you need and whether you're running out of bandwidth essentially um, as you add each platform but the ability to go direct from the software ecamm to a number of places as opposed to going through restream is really really powerful so you can uh, mirror your image as normal uh, you can actually change to black and white which is kind of cool if you wanted to you can change the gamma the saturation you can change the tint and the brightness so if I reset brightness is one you might want to use the gamma is great if you are having trouble with uh, your green screen um, but again the key with your green screen as we mentioned earlier is to definitely have even light on the green screen if I turn off one of them you can see what happens okay you need even light on the green screen you also need to work within the confines of the width of your green screen so if we uh, turn off the um, green screen here and we turn off the office background and I actually zoom out here not zoom out but uh, uncrop the image you can see part of the sitting room 
and the other part with the radiator and stuff so that's the width of the green screen um, you can reach back and touch it so it's just arm's length away um, but again having that flexibility to work in a com relatively confined space it's still comfortable it's a regular size desk um, but what you do is you go into um, again we'll be doing other videos behind the scenes on this but you can essentially crop out the part of the room you don't want to be seen okay just going to do that and uh, then turn back on the green screen everything becomes black move myself down and turn back on the uh, office image going to get rid of my name there for now but turn back on the office image okay you can drag in uh, other images there as well so the image i had coming in for the break you can bring that in okay uh, I can actually just on my mouse wheel scroll that and I can move my camera above it. Let me move my camera above it. And there you go. So that nice background as well. Um, what else can you do with that? I mean, you can do lots with it really, but uh, yeah, that might be a little bit busy or annoying for people to watch it. Um, but again, it's just to show you the option so we can get rid of that. If you are using animated backgrounds, make sure you set it to loop uh, so that it just doesn't stop after one uh, rotation there. Uh, so that's important as well. So just gonna, I'm looking down, breaking the cardinal rule of breaking eye contact, but I'm actually working on the software here as we speak. So uh, that's the, the background. So you can do a ton of great stuff uh, with uh, ecam really really powerful piece of kit to be honest um you know you can have sound and different things like that you can bring in your menus um it's quite different user experience than vmix or um certain similarities but um some different things as well and uh, yeah so it's it's really really good um i'm i'm loving it and uh, yeah as i say it's mac only so just giving you a couple of options there you can bring in sound effects and you can actually program it to the stream deck as well okay so i've got the little mini six button stream deck i've got the 15 button in the office studio but again i can set up some scenes and transition between the scenes uh with the stream deck i just haven't it programmed for this right now you can uh, what else can you do you can rotate yourself if for whatever reason you needed to do that don't know why you would um, and uh, you know that kind of stuff you can have you can share screens as well so if I bring in a, a second monitor for example I can add another monitor so let's just go through that briefly before I wrap up here this is more of a casual uh, LinkedIn live than the ones you might have seen earlier although it's pretty similar I, I am um, still me as I say it's just doing it from home here so let's open up PowerPoint uh, let's open up a presentation here any presentation at all go to full screen on PowerPoint so it's over on the other uh, monitor and just escape out of that and we need to always go to um, in the slide setup view of PowerPoint on Mac, you always need to change to browse as an individual. And then we go to full screen, window. So you'd have all this set up before you go live, of course. And then view, full screen. Okay, great. So now um, we can add a second monitor, okay? And the monitor we want to add here is actually the monitor with PowerPoint on it. So just go to settings and change to the secondary display. Okay, you can crop the top down a little bit so that it, it doesn't show that black border. You can use the scroll wheel then to uh, maximize it. Okay, and then you can work your way through your uh, PowerPoint. Of course, you can be in the PowerPoint as well. So what we do there is we make a copy well we can um, move the camera to the front of the PowerPoint 
and we would just uh, resize ourselves put ourselves down in the corner of the PowerPoint so you've seen me doing that a few times before if you've been watching my videos and that's how you can um, present then your PowerPoint so there's me checking in on LinkedIn on the other monitor and you see what happens when you do that so back to PowerPoint then and you can see I am actually in the presentation so you can resize yourself uh, you can put a border around yourself uh, if you're not using the green screen you could have a wall there and if that's your office background let's say you don't have a green screen then what you can do is the camera options you can do a nice circle okay so this is a bit trickier in vmix actually but very easy in ecamm so we do a, a circle we've got to make sure that we um are not cropped as much okay so we're not cropped and we've got a nice circle there as you can see we can uh, pan and zoom ourselves within the circle uh, or make definitely make the circle bigger or smaller and there you go we can put a nice border on it then so uh, border width and change the color of the border to uh, white and change the opacity to 100 uh, percent okay and then the border radius will be uh, a bit smaller than that oh it's making it quite big uh, so i've got to check that out but because i know you can make the border smaller than that that's quite big uh, so camera options border no that's just one interesting and um, so there you go and uh, corner radius uh, so you can do the tall version of it as well so you might want to put yourself over in the corner and you see this done a lot and then again you would have these set up in different scenes so you can crop yourself and then you would crop the PowerPoint as well so you resize the PowerPoint down a little bit with the scroll wheel there like that and you would remove the office background so that's again where you might actually have the uh, video playing in the background okay so if we just go to options here actually if i go into camera options here and get rid of that border and um, don't know why it's making it so big uh, that's something i gotta fix not fix but check out because usually it doesn't make it so big um okay that's an interesting one that didn't i haven't seen before okay so the joys with using this live and getting familiar with it but you can see the effect there the nice um, and then you can go back to the break <laughs> comes into this scene which is pretty cool and again it's just another way to present so you transition between the uh, the different scenes uh, I think it's because the zoom and pan is on yeah that's how you fix the border so you can see the border is nice there camera excuse me camera option to make the border now we have it it's I had pan and zoom zoomed turned on which seems to affect it so again you could have your slides here and um, make sure they're legible maybe make this one a little bit smaller and this one a little bit bigger and that's quite nice there and then you can even put a border around uh, the PowerPoint as well so make it a little bit smaller go into screen share options border width and border color and change it to white and yeah it has a weird kind of color um set up which is interesting but white anyway and opacity and there you go and we could make that a little bit bigger and in fact it could be the same size or a little bit smaller or you could be over the presentation a little bit uh, bigger and it all works pretty well and then you're going through the presentation as you can see so this is just a live setup demo behind the scenes of uh, what's possible with uh, ecamm and uh, yeah it's pretty powerful to be honest and uh, hope you enjoy it so uh, let me know if you have ever any questions and um, we'll talk to you soon thanks for everybody for tuning in 
and I look forward to talking to you later.